Hi Divas! I have two kits today from Lazy River Wood Turning. Never ordered them from them before and I, um, I looked forward to checking these out. One is a square and one is a round I believe. That's usually the way I order them they, and they were a, a pre-order type thing. It says, Dear Wanda, thank you for your support of my small shop. I am so grateful and hope you love your new paintings. I hope they bring you lots of joy and relaxation. Let me know if you run into any obstacles so I can correct and improve. Sending you warm wishes of love and light, Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate that. I really um, want to give a shout out to all small producers. Um, sometimes this, the smaller companies have a hard time with, um, you know, the lead time that it takes to get your packages from overseas, from customers, <laughs> uh, from all kinds of difficulties in their small shops. I do want to give small shops much love um, as they're trying to do something unique in the market, and I really believe in that, mom and pop shops. So, without further ado, let me see the two that I ordered. I'm really excited to see what they look like. I'm not sure which one I'm going to be opening first. They have an identification on the end of them. This one does. That one does. Okay. And that one does. One is an old master and one is... Yeah, I'm not sure. This is a 60 by 60 centimeter. And I usually order them without kits, so I didn't expect to see a kit in it. Okay. That's fine. All right, it is a stiffer canvas. It does have the pinked and poked edge for non-fraying. I like that. There's no fuzziness on the edge of the canvas, but that's okay. I didn't expect there to be one. Let me unroll it the opposite direction. It is poured glue. I don't see any. Um, there's a little bit of, of um, ruffliness on the edges of the canvas, but that's, that's all right. That happens. <clears throat> the pinked and poke edges on the edges are prevent it from fraying, if I haven't mentioned that before. Ah, it did come with a kit. Okay, your basic kit, your boat, it comes with two placers, a plate of wax, and a pen. Okay, yes, okay, this one does have the artist on here. 60 by 60, nice big print on the sides, thank you so much. Comes with the symbol and the DMC code. Oh, she's pretty. She's in a dark background, but... All right, nice and sticky. You can see... Um, I hope the glare is not too much on top of the plastic. The wrinkles that you see are in the plastic covering, not in the canvas itself. Maybe you can see that as I'm pulling that back a little bit. Okay. Oh, look at her face. Isn't she pretty? It's a beautiful Victorian woman, the pale skin, with a rosy ball dress. The rosy ball dress on. Isn't she beautiful? She is beautiful. That's a that's light coming through my coming through. I'm gonna to try to stand in front of the light, so I apologize if that comes through. But look how beautiful she is. Really beautiful. You want to take a look at the individual symbols. Let's look at, at that. Telescope you in to look at the symbols here. Are they nice and clear? I believe they are. And it's color behind the actual grid here. You can kind of see where it goes. Um, the color that it's supposed to be is going to peek out from between the two, between the diamonds, which is excellent. I like that a lot. I am, I'm not shading it here. All right, so let me replace the plastic. Good job with the picture. Good job with the rendering, too. I don't see anywhere that I would change. I mean, nowhere that's sticking out to me that I would change the rendering. I think I'd make the face just a little bit uh, a little bit lighter so I can see the features, but that is probably what the painting originally looked like, at least the unretouched painting. Sometimes when they retouch the old masters it brightens them up, but not all of them 
um, before they're unretouched are bright uh, are, when they're used. It, she does have her information at the top here. As you can see, that is her information as to where you can find Lazy River Wood Turning. I do believe they have uh, diamond painting pens. I, I ordered some diamond painting pens from them at one time, which I am very pleased with. Now, you get, with your kit, you get a, a full sticker sheet. You, they're huge. It's a huge sticker sheet. Um, you'd have to cut them apart yourself. I like these symbols closer to the actual color code number so that I can fold the section over. The only, the only thing that, you know, the only thing that I would change about the, this, and thank you for the thumbnail, I really appreciate that. Um, this, this is for inventory reasons, but the only thing I would like on the sticker is that this code would be closer to the DMC number. I would right justify these, I would left justify these. So that you have the code and the DMC number right next to each other. It makes kitting up so much easier. I don't mind the size of it. I think it's easier to see. But and, and thank you for putting it on sticker paper because that also makes it easier. But now I have a little bit extra work to do cutting it apart. Um, that's the only thing that I would change about it. Let's look at the bag of baggies here. Okay, I, I like this too. She gives the same thing on a regular piece of paper so that you know what's in it. I will keep this piece of paper with the drill so that I can match the the drills with it. What I would do is I would put Lazy River Wood Turning on both, you know, both information, uh, especially if she's using this to do this, that's fine. Like I said, I would put your logo on here. It does say 60 by 60. It does have the kit number. There's no kit number on the actual canvas itself, but I would put this information down here. Martha de Florian by Giovanni Baldini. Giovanni Baldini is the artist. I, the name of the painting is Martha de Florian. I would put this information on here as well as, as well as Lazy River Wood Turning. You have your Lazy River Wood Turning at the top. Um, so yes, um, that's the only thing I would do differently is I would put those identifiers on your paperwork as well. Um, that would be a gigantic help to the crafter itself, herself, his self. All right, so I like the way that the bags are already kitted up. They have the, the number, the color code, the DMC color code number, and the grams on it already. The only thing really I would need to do then is cut the code off and make sure I would match that code and put the code on here if I was using the baggies. I don't always use the baggies. Uh, in fact, most of the times I don't. I kit up into a plastic container and that's why I would need these codes next to the DMC color code number because I do save my drills if they're good drills. I do save them and that will help me identify them. I like to use the, the little plastic boxes instead. So that would be that would be my only critique of it is you know, to have more information on these sheets and to put the numbers closer to the DMC color code number. That would help me kit up. As far as the drills themselves go, they look beautiful. They they look beautiful. I like the way you've, you've pre-bagged them. I don't see any trash in them. They are acrylic drills, not resin drills, but that's fine. That keeps the cost down for you. I like that. They, um, of course, resin drills are more shiny, but then, again, they're going to cost you more in the long run. And I better put this in with, I guess they're not in numerical order, so it doesn't matter. Um, I have to watch when I kit it up. Beautiful colors. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Look at the plum. Oh, look at the plum color. If you can see the, the right color in my camera here. Beautiful plum color. And you have the flesh tones. You have grays greens, purples, pinks, there's white, there's dark purple, ooh, a dark brownish purple. So you have a lot of dark in the edges. 
of this beautiful woman. <clears throat> I am going to keep this in with the drills so that I can keep that together. Good job, Stephanie. Good job. Okay. And this I will use for building my kit information on that. Now, let's look at the other one. It is a 60 by 75. I am all for these medium-sized kits. Oh, thank you. And a little uh, a little shell cover minder. Thank you so much. That's cute. Alrighty. Again, stiff canvas. Identified. Lazy River. With the thumbnail. This one has... Let's see how many colors. Well, I don't know how many colors. It's not marked, but there's a lot. And this one has a tweezers with it. Nice. That means this one is the square, I believe. Okay, this one has 46 colors. And it gives you the big sticker with the thumbnail. There's the thumbnail. Gorgeous. It's like an angel. I liked it because it's like angel wings. It looks like a stained glass window. It's dark around the edges, but it's bright in the middle. And I have a feeling. Ah, there are some ABs in this kit. Nice. There's one. There's one. There's two ABs in this kit. And I'm going to zhuzh it up with some crystals, too, myself. I can already tell. And we'll find out where the ABs lie in this kit. All right. It's called On Angel's Wings by Colin Wetzel. Okay. Little little problem with the edges of the canvas there, but not a big deal. I know you can't see it all in one shot. I apologize. Nice. Oh, it's beautiful. I like this size. I like these medium-sized canvases. I really do. Oh, yeah. Can you see the fire going on in the middle here? Wow. Cool, 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 cool. And again, thank you for the paperwork. I appreciate that. And I do apologize for the traffic noises from the outside in case I don't get to edit them all out. Take out. I want to see the two ABs in here. There is a fire orange and a white. Now this has a huge range of colors. Can you see all those colors in there? All the different colors in here. 3371 is in there. The most colors are going to be the dark. There's a lot of 310, a lot of 939, the navy blue, which you're going to need anyway because you you need the balance of light and dark in paintings. So I hear people complain about 310s and the darks or all the 5, uh, 5200s, the whites, but you need a balance. If you want the brilliant colors to stand out, you need the white and the dark as well. So there. <laughs> so there. All right. So we have the 742 and the 5200. Thank you for not numbering them other than a DMC number. Just putting AB in front of them is perfectly fine. The first one will be the letter N. And the 5200 will be like a radioactive sign. <laughs> The triple triangles. Okay, so let's find the letter N in here. Oh, I already see it. I already see it in the middle of the fire here. Um, in here, there's some in here. Uh, there's some in here. It's it's dotted all over the fire, all over the whole big section of them here, section of them here, section of them in here. Some in here, there's some out to the edges of the wings, all in the tips of the wings, all in this fiery stuff on the sides. Down here in this fiery stuff, and in this bottom butterfly, I see them. 
Nice, 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 nice. I, I would just do, do some gold crystals. Gold crystals would be like, pow, right in the center here. And maybe a dot or two out on the wings, but you don't need many of them. But just those gold metallic ones will go, pow. Fortunately, I have some. If you're looking for um, metallic or AB or special drills of any crystals of any kind, there are two places that I normally recommend. One is... Um, Diamond Paint Sparklers with T-Mall. I have a discount code down below if you'd like to check that out in the box below. The other one is Diamond Painting Drills USA, and I will put a link to that one down below. I do not have a discount code for them, though, um, but they're both good companies that I use for getting my, um, my special drills. Okay, the 5200AB is the... Uh, like the radioactive, the triple triangle code. There's, they're down in here, in the bottom of the angel. They're all over the wings, big chunks of the wings, big color blocks of the wings are those on that side only, and in here. Okay, these are mostly the blues and greens. Uh, on that side only, and in here, in this bottom butterfly. So you have a little bit of the one code tiny little bits of the one coat on this side. Most of the, it's heavily weighted with the ABs on this side of the painting. Uh, the yellows and the whites over here. I think what I would do is maybe, I know it's the interplay of light. I know the light is coming in on it from this side. I know by the thumbnail that that is supposed to be the case. I think I would pick out this little pink down here, the pink triangle, 3609. I think I would try to find some ABs in 3609 or one of the dark blues. Just put them in here and maybe a little bit on this side, up in here, um, and down in, down in the blue-greens over here. Definitely would find that. Th that symbol is like an up arrow that is 911. I would find that. Because that's in here, that's in here, and in here, and up in here as well. Um, so I would use that as to balance it out a little bit, and I would use the pink. The pink, which is the 3609. I would use those two to balance out the heaviness of the sparkle on that side, which is fine. It can remain heavy, uh, because that's the way the light is directed on the painting. And that's what kind of draws your eye to it at first glance. But... I kind of like a little more balance, so I would sprinkle a little bit more of the blue-green on this side. But look how gorgeous that is. And it is a square, and in case I didn't say it before, it is a 60 by 75 centimeter. These were both pre-orders, and they're sold as pre-orders, so she has time to actually get them created for you and send them to you. They are uh, not an instant company by any means, but it looks like they have quality. I'm willing to wait. I have, you know, if you're like me, you have tons of projects in the back burner, and um, it then comes as a nice surprise later on when your kits come in. So there's no, um, no skin off my nose when that happens. So thank you. Thank you, Stephanie, for the little gifts for the beautiful canvases, the wonderful job rendering them. Um, like I said, I'd add a little more sparkle to this side, but that's just me. That would not, that would be a little bit different from what the artist's intent of the picture was. I get that, but that's just me. That's what I would do with this one. And the only other thing that I would change is putting the codes and the symbol next to each other, especially on the sticker sheet so that I could uh, cut them out when I uh, put them in plastic containers and I would put your Lazy River wood turning information on here as well as the artists and um, the artist information at the bottom, the title and the artist information, which I'm going to write on the paperwork to begin with. All right, that's the only thing I would do differently. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I appreciate it. Uh, you can offer an option without the kits too, which would be just as much. Uh, which would be fine because I'm not going to do anything with those kits. But um, beautiful work. Thank you. They're, they are worth the wait, I think.
um, beautiful rendering. Thank you. I will be ordering from them, them again in the future as days go by. I am doing a lot of destashing. These will not be in the destash, <laughs> uh, but I will be doing some destashing too. So on my Etsy shop, Wanda's Work Basket on Etsy.com, I do have some up already that I'm destashing from other companies. If you'd like to take a look, don't forget our lives on Tuesday night live at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, an occasional Saturday, like one Saturday a month, like 9 or 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But uh, if you go onto the, the Facebook uh, or the YouTube, you will see the notifications. Uh, hit the subscribe bell and you will get notifications of when they are coming up. So thank you so much for joining me on this. I hope you've liked these kits and I hope to see you again soon. Bye divas. Thank you.